Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. In this video, we're going to be reviewing Bitdefender Mobile Security and Antivirus, so let's get started. Unlike the last Bitdefender app we reviewed, this one has a whole suite of antivirus related features. To start, you'll have the ability to scan your device. This is actually the same scan that gets run on the much lighter app we reviewed last week, so there is not much difference there. First, let's talk about the web security. This keeps an eye on you while you browse the web, so if you end up on a shady website, it can help you stay safe. It's on by default, and you won't know it's there until it needs to tell you something. Also included is anti-theft. You can configure SMS controls to control your device that way when it's not in your presence, and there's also a web interface that'll help you find it if you've lost it. It's easy to configure, easy to use, and easily one of the best features in any antivirus app. Lastly, there is a feature called Privacy Advisor. What this does is scan your apps to see which ones might be the greatest threat to your privacy, and then gives you the option to uninstall them. This is one of the best ways to see what permissions your apps ask for, and you'd be surprised which ones ask for the most stuff. Using this app is very simple, but there are a couple of really great features that can help out. Most of the time, the app does nothing but sit in the background waiting until you need it. Once you configure the web security and anti-theft, you really just kind of let it go and it does the rest. Obviously, using it to keep yourself safe while web surfing and using it to find your lost or stolen device would be two of the most common uses. So here's what we liked. All anti-theft features always rock. Being able to find a lost or stolen phone is never a bad thing. The web security feature is very useful, especially if you're into surfing sites that are known for causing problems. The privacy advisor gives you a look at the app permissions in an easy to understand user-friendly manner, so even people who aren't so tech savvy can understand what their apps are doing. And here's what we didn't like. We would have liked to have seen some configuration options for the web security. It's nice that you can turn it on and just go, but it doesn't feel like the user has any control over how aggressive the service is. The only thing the privacy advisor is missing is root controls. This is nitpicking, of course, but having the root option to disable specific permissions would have been nice. It's not a huge deal, but root users still need a separate app if you want to disable permissions. All in all, this is a very solid offering in the antivirus space. It has all the features you'd expect an antivirus app to have, such as scanning, permission viewer, anti-theft, and web security. The interface is nice, and it is a free app, which is always good. Aside from a couple of small things, we really didn't have anything bad to say about the app. So if you're looking for an antivirus, go ahead and give it a shot. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, check out some of our other ones. You can find the written companion to this video in the video description, along with our social media links. Thank you again for watching, and have a wonderful day.